We are joined by Hans von Spakovsky with the Heritage Foundation for some perspective on these events constitutionally and what they can mean for the nation moving forward with elections. Hans, first of all, this unprecedented challenge regarding the vote integrity in several states, should Congress have gotten involved? No, I, I think what needed to happen was this needed to be investigated by state election officials and state attorney generals to see if there was any credibility to these claims and to make uh, and take any actions uh, required for that. I don't think this was up to Congress uh, to do. It was up to the states, which run elections in this country, to investigate and take any appropriate actions. Some of these charges, especially with states like Pennsylvania, where election officials and local leaders are accused of not following their own state election laws. How can this be prevented in the future? Does there need to be reform on the state level? Yes. The one thing that needs to come out of all of this, and I have to say, the violence that occurred yesterday was totally unacceptable. That is not the way we do things in America. Uh, But what needs to happen is Uh, All of these claims need to be uh, investigated in depth by state legislatures in all of these states. And legislators need to determine the credibility of these claims, what happened, what didn't happen, and then amend their laws governing election to uh, ensure that this kind of thing doesn't happen again, that any holes, any security holes in the election process are fixed so that we can have confidence in the outcome of elections, no matter who wins. Hans, what are your concerns constitutionally moving forward with elections, especially with the potential for federal intervention? Do you think that's a good thing? Well, the problem with federal intervention is that in the same way that they could put in, for example, good national standards, they could also put in very bad national standards. And a good example of that is the fact that Democrats uh, two years ago dropped a bill that would have banned voter ID laws in every state. That would have taken us backwards and would have made things even worse than they already were in this election. I think state legislatures, they are the ones primarily responsible for administering elections in every state, and they are the ones that need to fix the problems that we saw uh, surface in this past election. And quickly, do you think what our founding fathers envisioned with our republic and the democratic process is at risk in today's political climate and culture? And if so, what can Americans do to help protect it? Yeah, I think it is at risk. As you know, there have been a lot of uh, critics of the Trump administration, for example, who are now saying that uh, anyone who worked for the Trump administration, anyone who provided legal representation in, in the litigation that occurred should be blacklisted. Look, we already did that wrongfully during the McCarthy era. We should not repeat that history. That will put our democratic and political process at risk, and it is not worth um, the damage it will inflict uh, on our civil society to take that kind of what can only be said to be revengeful actions against individuals who simply have a different political point of view than others. All right, Hans von Spakovsky with the Heritage Foundation. Thanks for your insights, sir. Sure, thanks for having me.